Okay, so we got our venturi nozzle right here. And we're sucking in 212 degree, or roughly 212 degree, actually it might be 80 degree, water. Just a little bit. And that mixes with, in a venturi nozzle, it mixes with our compressed air. And that make basically, when the compressed air and the water mix, it causes almost an, like an explosion. The water forces the compressed air to expand, and it expands in this chamber right here, right before it gets into the turbine, where it goes through that nozzle right there. And the nozzle is a laminar flow nozzle. So we'll hear some interesting things happen here when we start this up. Where's the exhaust? The exhaust is right here. So it goes in, spirals around, it goes out the exhaust here into this chamber, and then out of this chamber, out the exhaust. It does that on both sides. There's another one on this side. I'll show the details of that later too. From it on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of compressed air here, and it'll start sucking up this water right here, this hot water, and it'll condense the water right here, and it'll come out really cold, and the energy will go into the turbine, into motor force. coming out so our, our venturi you know, is losing pressure which is good because it's putting the, the water is putting back pressure on itself oh okay We gotta get a thermal imaging camera on it. Can you hear that whistle? It's so cool to see the boundary layer. I mean, it's, so, it's got a vortex going. It's <laughs> better, of course. pumping it right now. Odd. 
Yeah, it's blowing. So, like I suspected, the Venturi nozzle isn't quite tuned. Remember when I said it needs a needle point? Mm -hmm. Right now it's got a huge wide open. So we'll get way more vacuum and way more suction with higher pressures over here. And we'll get the water in. So that's the that's the adjustment we need to make. <clears throat> What's in 